I think that there has that, that a, a portal, a demonic portal, opened above the White House around the time that the Bidens moved in. Uh, this was brought to my attention by a, a Christian who lives in North Florida who sent me a bunch of photographs uh, and a bunch of documents and also some notations in the, in the, in the Bible about portals. What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard O'Jet here, and it looks like we are living in the worst timeline that there is. And now there's apparently a demonic portal over the White House if you hear out what Roger Stone has to say about the Biden administration. Now, to be fair, he was, quote, skeptical about it at first, but apparently this man in Florida, because that's where all good things start, told him that he had the proof of a demonic portal and hell opening up. And I was like, okay, sure. Uh -huh. Okay, appreciate it. Thank well, you. Well, I bro. mean, you should start out by right. being skeptical. I was and saying that sounds, skeptical. that sounds insane to me. Okay. These people are insane. I don't know how Trump voters and Trump himself, who proudly aligned himself with Roger Stone, can take these people seriously. But let's take a trip down this rabbit hole for a second. Let's rumor him, like he says. But I looked at the photos, and I look, and you, you can also there's a live cam, where you can actually see in real time, and there does appear to be something you know, above the White House. Something, Something nice. inexplicable. Well, at first you say, well, maybe it's a reflection. Or maybe it's a, an aerostat balloon. You know, maybe there's a logical... So I, I called a police officer I know, works in Arlington, it's a friend of mine. And I said, look, um, do me a favor, would you go down and check this out? He said, are you out of your mind? I said, no, just humor me, just humor me. <laughs> go down there and, and check it out and tell me what, call me back and tell me what you see. Right. And he called me back about two and a half hours later and he said, you're not going to believe this, but there's definitely something there. And it's there, he said, it, people who, are, other people were there photographing it. One man called him and said, you can see it day or night. It's, a, it's like a smudge in the sky, almost like a cloud that doesn't move. But when you zoom in on it with a telephonic lens, it's swirling like a cauldron. Why does America get the demon portal? Can demon portals show up elsewhere, or is God only truly concerned? And I guess the devil as well. Are they only concerned with America? Why is that? Did God not create the entire world based on the Bible? Also, apparently, prayer is the only thing that can fix the demon hole. But there wasn't a demon hole before when Trump, the adulterous, lying, literal, coup-scheming guy, was in office. But Biden, the Catholic, he's the real demon ringleader. Why are these people allowed to have an atom of space in the political realm? I need y'all to understand this. this. These people have influenced policy decisions that a former president made. Now, wait a minute. So this is like, what, eight months ago? Yes. Okay. So this is a cop. Yes. Telling you that he doesn't know what the heck it is. But, but it's something. But yeah, there's something there. Correct. And therefore, Has this persisted? Yes, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Okay, that's nuts. Like, how has the media not covered this? Well, the media doesn't cover a lot of things that are true. Religion can be such a good thing. There are churches that have the sole purpose of making sure people don't go hungry or mission trips to third world countries where they build stuff for free. They are really good people that just believe in doing good things in the world because that is how they interpret the Bible. And then there are these fanatical psychopaths who somehow have enough political power to be involved in a president's inner circle. Roger Stone started his career for being a dirtbag by working for Richard Nixon. Let that sink in. He's been a lobbyist for a long time, and he worked for Donald Trump way back in the day. So he's got deep ties to him, and this is the banana sandwich crazy that he believes. Or at least, if he doesn't actually believe it, he's not scared to say it out loud to convince other religious people that Biden's White House is full of demons. This is the world we live in now, ladies and gentlemen. Hope y'all find a way to stay sane in this version of America. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.